Okay, hi everyone. It's uh, me, and I'm going to be. I'm going to go like this. Hey, I'm going to turn the camera in a bit, and what I'm going to do for you all is I'm going to paint several sections um, in several different parts, and so we can get through the project for this week. Um, first and foremost, the background. We're going to be painting that this gradated sky on on. Um, I'm going to demo, demonstrate on how to do this. And I'm going to turn the camera now, so just watch, you're going to see of me. Um, and then I'm going to demonstrate these white flowers right here. It, they're very simple, very easy, very light-handed. And then, of course, the background. We're going to learn how to, we're going to learn how to, uh, you know, do all of the different layers and the different uh, depths that's going on in the lower part, okay? So we're going to do the white flowers, the gradated background, and we're going to learn how to do, I'm going to demonstrate all of this. Now, um, the only thing that's not seen on the DVD that was issued to you is this background. So. I thought I'd throw in a couple more uh, demos since I have the camera set up and um, and all that. Okay, so here we go. Now I have my line drawing, and generally I have uh, several working um, demon demonstrations and paintings ready to go. But I thought for this one, I'm just gonna I'm going to show you on um, how to paint the white flower. Now I'm going to adjust it so it's a little closer to me. Let me turn it so it's a little bit better for you all. And um, it's going to drive me crazy unless it's lined up at the bottom. Okay, here we go. White flower. Now, I suggest that we start with a transparent yellow. And um, just the transparent yellow. Lots of water. Um, you want to load up your brush so it's nice and wet. And we're going to begin with this portion right here. We're going to pull, pull a little bit here. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to, and I probably did do this in the video. I didn't review it. But let's just go ahead and do this and just get this all um, in one pass. Oh, I can do that right now. Okay, and um, remember, some of the yellows are a little richer on the outside, on the circle part, and then some are, um, you know, they have more orange in it, and then there's a lighter yellow that works right through here. Um, some of you um, are using different yellows, and that's okay, so just water it down, even if you have like a different brand and a different yellow that you um prefer to use or that you have access to right now and um, water it down and then just go ahead and lay that in just like so okay and I'm going to turn it again it seems like I could get it a little closer so I'm going to get it closer so it's right there in the corner now while it's still wet what I'm going to do is add um, you can add some permanent rose to um, this outer portion and I'm going to mix that up, and it's going to be it's going to be um, a little thicker, okay? And um, my my pigment's all dried out, so I'm going to have to pop that give give it a little push off the top. So, meanwhile, um, while I do that, I'm, then I'm going to show you. I'd like to show you my palette. Not that it's the prettiest thing in the world because it's pretty messy, but I want you to see how um, let's do this. And take a little bit of the permanent rose and you take a little more transparent yellow. And there's that golden yellow that we're looking for. While it's wet, you can tap that on in and um, just go ahead and just lay that in there. And I'm going to re-wet this because while I was mixing and adjusting the camera, it dried. So here we go. I'm going to take this and re-wet it. So if that happens to you, um, 
you can go ahead and just wet the edge and just give it that little bit. I just don't want it to be all hard edged, okay? And here we go. And we can put a little bit more down here. Tap, 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 tap. Now, this, the white, um, the white poppy doesn't, does not really have, okay, I, and now I'm going to make a little bit of movement, you know, with the paint that's left over on my brush. See that? So you can get a little bit of movement, and I'm not, this is not the beginning and the end of this portion of the flower, but um, you can do it right now, just kind of add a little bit of movement. Um, so what I was saying was, this is in shadow, right? So this is in shadow. And so we don't have to, we don't want to draw too much attention to it. Um, it's just a secondary, it's not the focal point. And um, so we're, we don't want to give it too much detail, too much attention, too much anything, but it is a light-handed mixture. Now, let's see, right here in this area is where most of the darkest darks are going to go. You know, and you can go ahead and lay in that uh, golden color right now and know that it's going to uh, get a little bit darker. If you want, you could take your permanent alizarin crimson, Windsor green mixture, and make it, um, you know, a little on the darker side. Okay, and then drop that in. Boom. Okay. Now you don't have to make it one solid dark shape, but that's where, you know, you can add that in just that easily. Okay. Now, what we can do is, um, as you work, as you work in this white flower, you can't, you'll see areas that you can add, you know, a little bit of punch to if you like. Um, but for right now, let's just go ahead and keep this the way it is. Um, I prefer to just maybe add a little right here, right there. There we go. Whoosh. A little bit more, and again, it's the quicker the better. Just get in, get out, get in, and get out. Okay, there you go. Okay, now the middle. Okay, we're going to go back to our permanent is our to our transparent yellow. Sorry, back to our transparent yellow, and we can you know work with the center there a little bit. Okay, leave that alone. Okay, and then that's it. Now, to get, um, you know, do you see a lot of blues in the petals? So that's that could be um, your phthalo blue, and um, you know, you can start off with just the phthalo blue if you want. Um, sometimes I add a little permanent alizarin crimson to give it a little bit more, you know, purple feel to it because that phthalo blue is pretty bright. Okay. So I'm going to do, um, I guess, treat it just like we did with the other with the other um, petals that were in our other painting, the other painting that I demoed with, or I, yeah, the other painting that I demoed with. Okay, so see this? We're going to just go ahead and start the movement of the petals with this blue, and then let this dry. And then we're going to glaze back over it again because there is um, a nice, really a lighter, you know, there's darker, darker um, values in here and lighter values over in here. Okay. So let's go ahead and move about. And here's a little bit of a purple, darker purple. Do you see how dark that is? That's pretty dark. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water and you can move that up and over. Okay. Um, and this, this is a little lighter in here, so I'm going to leave that alone for right now. Okay, there we go. And it's coming along. Um, okay, just go ahead and drop that in there, drop that in there, drop that in there. And then I'm going to let this dry. And, um, I'm going to let this dry, and then once it's dry, I will glaze right back over it. Okay, so I'm going to stop this uh, demo right now and then post it for you guys. And then I'll finish this, and I'll, I'll be posting the next one quickly. Okay, there we go. Yeah, a little bit more movement right there and there. Okay.
So that's uh, that's the beginning of the white poppy. Okay.